I'm Laura from Five Out of Four Patterns, and you have made it to day five of the Valerie, Kids Valerie, Men's Val, So Along. Whew, I got all that out, and it's sponsored by So So English Fabric. The cool thing about our sponsorship with So So English Fabrics is that they're, today we're finishing this thing up, we're working on the necklines, and that's it, and I'm gonna take some photos, so let's do it. Good morning, it is day five. Very excited to finish this up and to get it on my daughter. It is just so stinking cute. All right, I just want to show you. These are, we're doing the hood today and the funnel neck, but these, we're going to start with the hood. These are the pieces that you should have for your hood. All right, here's what we've got. We've got this weird looking side hood piece that connects in the middle and we've got the center. All right, this is called a scuba hood. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think. I'm excited to make this. All right, let's get started. First things first, if you're going to be use, doing a drawstring, um, then uh, you, you're going to need to add grommets or um, even, um, I think buttonholes will even work. I'm not adding that. I do not have the supplies that I need to do that. I wanted to make that gathered funnel neck, you know, that one, uh, and I thought I had everything I need, and of course I don't, so I can't even make it. If I wanted to show you, I couldn't even do it. So we're just gonna do the standard hood without the drawstring. Pin center hood and one raw edge of the side hood, so here, okay, um, with the right sides together, making sure the top of the hood center is at the top of the um, hood side. Does that make sense? We'll ease it around, I'll show you how we'll do it, and then we'll, we'll sew it. Okay, I'm gonna grab the pattern piece for this, because I wanna make sure the top is the top. All right, so if we look at our pattern piece, we can see this is the top, it says so right here, and this is the neckline. So this the one with the slight curve at the bottom here, hopefully you can see it's not off the camera, that's the neckline, all right? So that's gonna be here at the bottom, at the base of our hood. Does that make sense? Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm gonna move this. We know this is the top. The flat, the flat is the, the straight across cut is the top. This is slightly curved, so okay, we're good there. All right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna place this right sides together with my hood, so just like this, okay? I'm sorry, just like this. <laughs> there we go. So I'm gonna start here Okay, and then I'm gonna take the other, the, the bottom, the neckline, and I'm going to place it right at the bottom. Now, the thing is, you're gonna to need to be easing this stuff together because it's just a weird, it's a weird curve and the, it just feels funny. Don't worry, not a big deal. Just wanna ease it all together. And as you just kinda of lay it there, and just kinda of pull it here and there, you can see that it kinda of wants to line up all on its own. Match up those raw edges as best you can. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one in a little bit. See how I'm not really handling it much. It doesn't take a lot of maneuvering or stretching. It's just taking a second. All right, that's it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scoot this to the side and I'm gonna repeat that over here, same side. All right, so this is the curved, so it's the neckline. So I'm gonna do the top. There we go, perfection. All right, now we're gonna head to our serger and we're gonna serge this curve on both of these main end lining pieces. All right, now that we finished these, we gotta repeat this on the other side. So you can see what we've got here, okay? So we're going to, let's get this all facing the way it needs to face. It's a little uh, kind of a pain in the butt when it's connected like that, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna bring, this is what we have, this is the raw edge, this is the top, this is the neckline, okay? I'm going to bring this piece over to here, so it's right side down. And then this is the bottom, the neckline, so I'm gonna match that, and then I'm gonna match the top, and then I'm gonna do just what we did um, with the other side. Ease it all in there. Now 
Now I'm gonna head over to my serger and do the same thing as we did before. I'm gonna give these a little bit of a press. I'm gonna turn them right side out. You can see how kind of, they're pretty cool. They almost look like a helmet, don't they? Um, okay, so just wanna get, it's hard to get it all looking, looking good. So I'm gonna go from the inside and just give it all a good press. I'm pressing it towards the, the seam allowance toward the center piece. I'm sorry you can't see this very well. This is really awkward. Um, there's the second side. All right, so I have the lining right side out. The hood, I'm going or the main, I'm going to turn wrong side out. And now I'm going to put the lining inside the main. Inside, okay? Um, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to match up the the bottom like neckline where the the seam is where we connected the sides with the center, and I'm gonna clip those. All right. All right, then I'm just gonna match up everything else. I'm just get everything. You shouldn't have to stretch anything. It's all the same, they're the same pattern piece. We're just lining it all up look, so it looks good. So the pin, a clip here and there just to keep it all where it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna do this, this is the neckline of it. I'm doing that and then I'll have to do the, the face hole, for lack of a better term, I don't know what it's called. This, the opening, the face opening of the hood. Commonly known as the face hole. I'm all about technical terms over here, okay. Right, let me get that little clip. All right, now I'm also obviously going to do this. So I have, this is the top. I'm going to match up those seams, those uh, where the side panels um, were sewn to the center, just like we did with the neckline. And then I'm gonna match up everything else. I wanna make sure my curve is matched up here. All right, so now we're gonna, we're going to sew around the face opening. She calls it the face opening, I call it the face hole. I don't know, I think mine's better. Anyway, we're gonna sew around that opening. Um, and then we're gonna turn our hood right side out. That's pretty fun, let's do it. I only put these clips in down here to keep everything where I needed it to be. So for now, I'm gonna take them back out because I've got to turn this hood right side out. All right, I'm actually going to repin the bottom, the neckline. Here we are. Now, you can see this is what we've got. Is that not awesome? Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's press it, okay? One of the things you want to do is um, you want to make sure that your that everything's pushed, the fabric is pushed out. Um, so you can wet your hands or wet your fingers and just kind of roll that that seam allowance there because you want um, you don't want anything folded or curled where it's not supposed to be folded or curled. If that makes sense. All right, you want to see that seam a little bit. So you can see the difference between, this is what I'm talking about, this here, see how that's clean, and then you've got some stuff sticking out here? That's not what you want, you want this. So you wet your fingers a little bit and you just roll that seam. Now we're going to attach this just like we would any other uh, neckband. Um, in fact, this is how we will also attach the um, the funnel neck to our bodice as well. So what we want to do is we want to find the center um, back. We're going to quarter this. So we're going to line up the hood 
center seams and find the center of that. And then we're going to find the center front. Okay, and I've got a bunch of pins in here, so I'm just gonna move my pins around. Okay, then I'm gonna line up my center front and my center back. Does this look familiar? It's very much like the bands that we just did. Adjust those clips there. And that one's already centered. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing to my neckline, all right? I don't need the rest of these pins, technically. So we'll take out those. You really only need the four unless you feel like it's just not holding together for you. All right, so now we take our, um, what are these? Shoulder seams, and we put them together. Okay, we're, we're doing, well, we'll do it like this. These are the shoulder seams, I'm putting them together. This is the back. And then keep the shoulder seams together and we do the other side, which is the front. Now, do not think that the shoulder seams are your um, quarter points. They are not. So you line up your front and back center and you see, let me show you here. Put my clip there. Here it is. This is the shoulder seam right here. That is the actual quarter point. It does make a difference. Don't guess on that just makes things not line up very well. And then you've got all kinds of problems. Okay, let's turn, let's turn our top in wrong side out. And now we are going to put our hood inside the neck opening. Okay, we are going to match up the center back and the center front. and the quarter points. All right, here we have it. Now I'm gonna to head to my serger and I'm going to serge all the way around the neck hole. Let's turn it right side out. And we, I realized while I was sewing up the neck uh, opening, that um, I forgot one step, but I'm gonna show you what I've got here. Here's our hood. Um, that looks pretty fabulous. One of the things I forgot to do when I finished assembling the hood is I was supposed to top stitch around the um, kind of face opening um, or face hole as I call it. Uh, so I'm gonna do that now. It's no big deal. I can totally do that now. It's not gonna ruin anything. And once I do that, I'm also going to top stitch here, I'm, I'm going to press my seam allowance down towards the bodice and, um, and then I'm going to top stitch my neckline. All right, as you can see, we have another top that's very close to being done, and it does not have the piping on it, but it's equally as cute. But we've got to finish that neckline. So let's work on that funnel. What we have here is we have two pieces. We cut two um, funnel necks on the fold. All right, so our stretch is this way. What we're gonna do, one is the main and one is the lining. We're gonna take them and we're gonna fold each of them right sides together. Now, if you noticed on your pattern piece, uh, one the top is labeled and the, and the neckline is labeled. The flat is the top, the slight curve is the neckline, all right? So if you need help remembering which one is the top, give them a little clip so you know that's the top. That's gonna be important later. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to my serger and I'm gonna serge down both of these short ends. Here we are, I'm going to turn one of them right side out. Now we're going to place the one that is right side out inside the one that is wrong side out, matching up the seams. And we're clipping the top, not the neckline, the top. And we know this is the top because we, because we clipped it. Okay. Now you could clip all the way around whatever works best for you. But what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go back to my serger and I'm gonna serge all the way around the top, all right? 
We are surged all the way around the top. Now I'm gonna turn it right side out. And so we have two pieces here and I'm gonna fold one of them down and I'm gonna match up the raw edge and the um, seam there. I'm gonna fold it all the way down. I'm gonna do just like we did with the um, the hood where we wanted to make sure that that seam was just so. I'm just gonna rub it a little bit so it all kind of comes out the way it's supposed to. Okay, so now we're gonna quarter this just like we would any neckband. So here's the seam, and I need to find the front center. So that's about here, and then I'm gonna find the quarter points. Okay, and now I'm going to quarter my neckline. I'm gonna turn my top wrong side out. All right, so this is this seam here for our funnel is the back. It's the center back. So I'm going to open up my, my neck opening and I'm going to match that up. My funnel neck will go inside the neckline, okay? So I'm gonna match up the front center as well and then quarter points. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna to go to my serger and I'm gonna search all the way around the neck opening. Okay, let's turn it right side out and we're gonna give the whole thing a really good press. So here are the two, the two Valerie's that I made today. Um, and they are just the cutest. Um, I am going to show you my finished products on my children. Uh, I'm very excited to get pictures of them and I hope that you like our final makes.